Here we are, creatures of the thing two. A little rundown of how we built all these for this, this movie that took way longer than I thought it would take. We made all of these ourselves. None of these are bought. And these are all made very easily. It's a. Uh, let me just pick one up here. This is the thing hand at the end. And you can just see it's uh, just newspaper. It's only detailed on one side because it's only going to be seen from this side. Just a hand puppet. This is uh, covered in liquid latex and uh, this is air dry clay. Very easy. Little bits of uh, latex that uh, dried around the container. And you peel that off and you can use it like for tendons and stuff. And there's our big Blair monster. He's built the same way as this guy. Just newspaper. And I'll show you more on him in a second. This is our chest uh, mouth, I guess you'd call it. If I turn it around, lift up the shirt here. Just newspaper. It's got a little air hose to make the uh, the tongue waggle. And these are uh, these are after you use your liquid latex. There's residue in the bottom of the bowl. If you let that dry and then you peel it out. You get these wonderful little fleshy bits. We just kind of glued them on there. Same thing with this. That came from the bottom of the bowl of latex. And this is a. Uh, these little intestines here are the uh, spray foam, insulation foam. Let that dry, paint it up, looks real good. These are. Each of these creatures are named. This is a torso thing. He's the half torso. He pulls himself free of his legs as the door closes on him. His legs got reused to make the Tyson creature. Tyson thing. And you can tell it's Tyson because he has the Molotov cocktails. You'll notice in the movie, you'll see that character wearing these. And then a little later, he comes back as this thing. This is the, uh, the Diaz thing my friend Juan Diaz he turns into that the remnants of torso thing assimilate Diaz and he becomes that this is the unnamed character that becomes the Blair monster we we I included the Blair monster because I couldn't do a fan film without making at least one monster from the movie and if you know the original movie and if you're gonna make the original you know one of the monsters you might as well make the best one and in my opinion the Blair Monster is the best one. And it's just entirely newspaper wrapped in tape, painted with liquid, liquid latex, and then a little air dry clay to uh, bring out some of the details, like the lips and the eyes. And if I go behind it, you can see it was detailed only on the front. There's your little the hole to put your hand in there to operate the mouth. Mouth is not detailed on the back, and this is how you operate the dog. Inside there, I'm not sure if you can see. There's two parts, the torso comes off. And this is the Blair tentacle, which is uh, three uh, air, air ducts that I taped them together, and then I wrapped them in, uh, this is like insulation that goes on heating pipes. Cover the whole thing in tape, paint it with liquid latex, and that's what it looks like. Torso thing is, if I turn him upside down, you can see it's just tape and paper. And in the scene where Diaz thing clubs the door, his hand comes through the door, his club comes through the door. Let's see what we did there, it's, or I did more specifically. So a little bit, of, a little bit of club I built. I just put some metal, bend it in a few nice shapes. Put some duct tape on the back. You add a sound effect, and that's the club coming through the door. And this is 
That's my neck near the end of the movie. It's a coat hanger wrapped in paper. A lot of clay on that one because I wanted the skin to be thin or smooth like a human. And then there's all the gore. It's just cotton, latex strips, and stuff like that. And then this is Spiderhead. It's half size because this is a uh, stop motion puppet. And this spider head, you see, not detailed on the bottom. I got that skull from Amazon. And then there's a coat hanger inside there and inside the legs. Everything else is just newspaper painted with a latex. There's a little bit of air dry clay to bring out. See right there the, the lips on the, uh, on the side of the mouth there. Teeth are just tape. And everything else is just painted. I painted the skull, and that was a uh, animated stop motion, one frame at a time. And there's our, this is our flamethrower. This is I had to use this tank for another scene, so we I removed the butane tank. Uh, that was practical. It actually made a real flame. Um, didn't actually shoot flame, but it shot a little pilot jet out. 